we just got a motherboard this is the gigabyte z390 customer was building his own custom pc and he spilled some thermal paste next to the cpu socket so what he did he got a piece of napkin tried to clean that spilled thermal paste and the napkin cut some of the pins on the cpu socket and it ended up bending and damaging the pins on the cpu socket and one moment hello how are you good how are you all right i had a problem with the computer i reloaded windows uh-huh everything went fine it worked except how you normally you pick your wi-fi so i'll try to push for this one to be ready today by yeah. probably is five o'clock a good time to pick up? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. So I'll sign here. So what happened is the customer used the napkin to clean the spilled over thermal paste from the side of the socket, and the napkin cut some of the pins on the socket and it damaged the pins. Let's look at it under this camera. Can you tell where the bent pins are? Okay, so the area that doesn't look good is this one here down here let's take a look under the microscope to see what we're looking into okay so look at that all those pins are pointing right to left so this pin is pointing from right to left and the point of the pin is right here right to left right to left right to left now if you look at this one it's bent all the way to the back now, I did tell the customer there is a risk when we bend the pin back to the front, it may break. So we have to be extremely careful. I see a lot of bent pins. We see one here, one here. This is very bad, very bad. One here, one here, one here. And this is the only area that is affected. The rest of the socket looks good. I mean, this motherboard is about $300 or somewhere around that range. So the customer doesn't want to buy a new motherboard. Okay, so let's start. Maybe let's start right here. Let me make it a little bit brighter. Maybe we can start right here. I'm going to fix as many pins as I can. Then we can test later. Some of the pins do not do anything. Or some of the pins, they can be connected to other pins next to them. So if one of them is damaged, it doesn't really make a difference. But since we do not know which is which, we have to fix all of them. Okay, so we do have one broken pin. We do not know if this pin is connected to anything. If this pin is needed, it's not needed. We do not know. 
Let me take it out. I told the customer we may have some broken pins there or pins may break while trying to readjust them. I'm using a very fine tweezer. This is by Excelta. Everything looks aligned here. This is an 8th generation motherboard. We do not have a CPU to test this. So after we're done, we're going to give it back to the customer. And the customer is going to test it. Whether this works or it doesn't work, there's nothing else we can do. So some people in the comments will ask, did this work? In most cases, I would say 90% of the times, yes, it will work. But in cases where a pin is broken, like this one here, we do not know if this is going to affect the functionality of the board. Everything else here looks good. They are pointing at the right angle. There is nothing else that we can do if this board does not work. So what I'm showing you is the process on how we unbend pins on a CPU socket. Uh, I have a 7700K CPU, but it will not work on this board. It's the same socket, but uh, the CPU is not going to work. Okay, this one is a little bit tricky. I'm afraid that if we untwist it, we may break it. You see how it's twisted from here? Let's see if we can untwist, 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 untwist. Okay, so far so good. Untwist. And a little bit more. we are working in a very tight area so let me see if we can work with two tweezers the one I have on the left here is by Hako it's bigger even though this is labeled as an ultra fine tweezer but it's bigger than the Excelta one So how are we going to fix this?
Okay, I do not think we can fix this pin more than we just did. We may end up breaking the pin. I do not want to break it. Okay, and finally, let's do this one here, and I think we should be good. Okay, this is good. So I'm going to inspect this whole area just to make sure we did not miss anything. And we see one right here. Uh, never clean your board with the CPU out of the socket. Because we get this a lot. Anything that falls down on the socket is going to damage the pins. Or if you're trying to clean with whatever, uh, napkin, towel, microfiber cloth, it's going to get caught up with those pins. You know, these pins are sharp from the front here. And pins are going to get damaged. So we did the best that we could. So we do not know if this pin connects to anything. We do not know if this pin is being used or what's the job of this pin, but it's broken. And everything else looks good. And that's it. That's how we deal with unbending socket pins. I just wanted to show you how that works. In case of any issues, I'm going to ask the customer to just buy another board, and that would be the only option to fix this problem. So right now, we do not know if this board is going to work or it's not going to work. We did the best job that we could. We do not have an eighth generation uh, CPU to test, so we are going to ask the customer to test it. Whether this board works or not, I know some people are going to ask in the comments, did this board work? That's not the purpose of the video. The purpose is to show you how we dealt with unbending pins. The job is done. There's nothing else I can do. There's nothing else anybody else can do. You can never make those pins perfect. They are tiny, very tiny. And the way they are bent, there is no way you can create the same curvature on that pin like as it came from the factory. So that's it for this video. And we'll do something else in the next video. I'll see you. I'm tempted to try the 7700K CPU to see if it works or if it will accept it. I have the Maximus Hero motherboard here and I do have the 7700K that we can use. So let me just quickly try to see if the board will accept the CPU since it's the same socket. Pin number one is here. So, I'm going to grab a power supply. What happens if we put the 7700K on this board? Let 
me just focus right over here. Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, so it turned on and off, which could mean that the CPU is not supported. Okay, let's remove our CPU.